This year, doctors in this country will diagnose more than 180,000 new cases of cancer. That's according to the latest statistic from the Canadian Cancer Society. More than half of those new cases are from the most common cancers, lung, breast, colorectal and prostate. More than 75,000 Canadians will die this year from some form of the disease. But the mortality rate for cancer is decreasing for patients under the age of 70. That report chose to highlight liver cancer. It's one of the fastest rising cancers in Canada with a high kill rate. But the need to educate people on how to prevent liver cancer is not getting much attention. Health reporter Kelly Crow explains. Paul Moran is here to learn the results of his liver ultrasound, and the news is good. He does not have cancer, but his advanced liver disease means he's under close scrutiny. It means that your liver is damaged to the point that other bad things can happen. With liver cancer, catch it small, it's curable. But liver specialists say chances to do that are being missed. Every patient who develops late-stage liver cancer represents a failure of medical therapy. It's a rare example of a cancer that can be both prevented and cured. Yet in Canada, deaths from liver cancer are going up. This is the only cancer in Canada for which mortality is actually increasing. The reason? Experts put it bluntly. It's politics. There's no national strategy to screen for liver disease. There are too few liver specialists, long waiting lists for treatment, and many of the patients are too old and sick to campaign. They don't lobby, they don't make a noise, and as a result, it's not really in the public eye. Dr. David Wong sees one or two new cancers a week. He says liver specialists are overwhelmed and frustrated. So even though we find these cancers, sometimes we have to wait and watch them grow while the hospitals find the slots to treat them. But today, liver cancer is getting its moment in the headlines. It's been selected as this year's poster cancer in the Canadian Cancer Society's annual report. I hope that uh, those in charge of the healthcare dollars are aware that these are treatable conditions and that cancer rates can go down if we have the resources to fight these infections. Diabetes, obesity, alcohol and hepatitis B infection all cause liver damage that can lead to cancer. But right now in North America, most liver cancer is caused by the hepatitis C virus. And up to a third of people who have the virus don't know they're infected. Paul Moran didn't know until his liver was dangerously damaged and he started to get sick. He doesn't know how he became infected. No idea. The Canadian Liver Foundation says everyone born between 1945 and 1975 should have a hepatitis C blood test. It's a population at risk of infection because of recreational drug use, tainted blood and routine hospital procedures before there were disposable needles. And if those unknown viral infections are treated, they say it would prevent future liver cancer. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.